Good afternoon, Shark Nation, and Happy New Year. This is your welcome back video update for the start of the 2022-2023 school year. Today is Tuesday, August 16th, 2022, and I am your president and principal, Mr. Patrick Lee. I'm in my 11th year here as president and principal of St. Francis High School, coupled with my 23 years as a coach, teacher, and principal at St. John Bosco down south. It gives me a pretty good understanding of the Salesian mission and vision. I wanted to welcome you, but also share this year's school-wide theme. Our theme this year is sharing our gifts, transforming our world. You will see it on our front banner over the main gate in English and in Spanish this year. I also want to encourage all students to come by my office to share your ideas, your goals, your dreams, suggestions for what we can do to make St. Francis even better than what it already is, as well as grab a handful of trail mix and goldfish. What we found over the years, even pre-COVID, is that many of our students choose to sleep in or drive into school without having breakfast. So know that you can always get something mostly healthy from my office, especially since myself and Miss Alonzo are type 1 diabetics. Sharks, today is the birthday celebration for our patron saint, St. John Bosco. So happy birthday, St. John Bosco. It is also National Roller Coaster Day. So pretty cool, Sharks. I'm recording this after a great faculty staff retreat yesterday and our first day of school-wide meetings and professional development today. Tomorrow, we will continue our annual professional development with Miss Hannah Jones on supporting all of our students with executive functions like organization and follow through and turning your homework in and communicating with your parents, as well as supporting students with various learning challenges. Last year, we focused on mental health, and this year we are supporting all students with executive functions and differentiating instruction. I am excited about our continued commitment to supporting all students at St. Francis to be successful and happy with only an appropriate amount of stress. Look, Sharks, life is not a TikTok video where we are always happy and always get trophies just for showing up. That's not real. Some stress, some disappointment, some sadness is necessary and appropriate. We would do a huge disservice to our students if we didn't push them to be their best every day. And there will be good days and bad days in life. Together, with all of you, we need to give our students the tools to process their feelings, especially coming out of COVID. Now let's take a look at this week's schedule. Thursday, August 18th, 2022, all new student orientation. Dress for that day is sharkware for all of our students, faculty, and staff. Students will check in between 9.45 a.m and 10 a.m. Then at 10 a.m. we will do a welcome and icebreakers and then at 10.30 a.m. to about 11 a.m. or so we will do snacks and we'll provide locks, lockers, get students to their sports lockers, their academic lockers, get everything all set up. And then from approximately 11.10 a.m. until about 2 p.m. we will have five different information stations for the students. One will be on iPad as a learning tool. Another one will be handbook review. A third one, student life. Fourth one, Salesian Society 101. And number five, counseling and academics. In all, all students, both incoming freshmen and all transfer students, will get all the necessary support and tools so they can be successful at St. Francis. Then at 2 p.m., we will have an ice cream social and activities for the students until their sports practices begin or they get picked up for their rides home. There will be no night events this Thursday night. Friday, August 19th, 2022, will be for all students, both returning and new students. We'll have periods C for collaboration and periods one through seven. The one through seven schedule will have classes about 45 minutes long to really introduce you to your teachers, your classrooms, and the expectations, and then boom, get out for the weekend and get ready for your next class. The collaboration will be in the morning Students will go to their faith families and homeroom, so they'll meet their homeroom teacher as well as the students in their faith family. They'll get some instructions and norms on how to be successful and support each other within these multi-grade faith families, and then we'll move to an all-school assembly. Friday is a regular school dress. It's one of the few regular school dress Fridays we'll have, but all students will be in their regular school uniform that day. Remember, young ladies can choose to wear the skirt or they can wear khaki pants khaki shorts, or khaki capri pants. Van service also starts on Friday, August 19th, and that'll be to and from school. 
Immediately following school, we'll have sports practices, and that afternoon into the evening, we'll have the mega Santa Cruz County sport football jamboree, not sports jamboree, football jamboree. That will be at Santa Cruz High School. That goes from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Then on Saturday, August 20th, 9 a.m., we have a varsity volleyball tournament at Rancho San Juan High School in Salinas. Also at 9 a.m. on Saturday will be the JV volleyball tournament at Soledad High School. And then on Saturday, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., we will have the JV football jamboree at Santa Cruz High School. That evening, we will have the Whole Hog Stadium fundraiser, and you've got information from Mr. Nick Guerrero. So if you need any more, please let him know, but we hope to see you at that event. Sunday, August 21st, 10.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. is our Welcome Back Family Barbecue and Pool Party. All are welcome, and you have until tomorrow, Wednesday, to RSVP. Please let us know so we can buy the main course of meats uh, ahead of time so we have the proper amount. And then you have an email from Mrs. Lamus that has you sign up for bringing either a side dish or a dessert. All are welcome. That means your siblings, students that are coming to school, our international students, all parents, grandparents, all that fun stuff. We'd love to see you. And again, we're starting with Mass at 10.30 a.m. We'll have the pool open, a bounce house, food, games. It'll just be awesome. DJ, it'll be fun. So we hope to see everybody there. All faculty and staff are invited with their families, and all of our returning students and new students with their families or host families are also invited. Again, we hope to see all of you at this huge kickoff community building event. And now a message from our AP of Student Life, just a reminder about this barbecue. Uh, don't forget, if your last name begins with A through L, please bring a side dish. And if your last name begins with M through Z, please bring a dessert. Refer to that email from Mrs. Lamus. Also, there will be no food truck on campus this year. We'll be using the hot lunch program called School Eatery. You will order and pay for your lunch on the School Eatery app. If a lunch is not ordered, the only option for food on campus are the vending machines. So please download the app and pre-order your meals. Meals must be ordered or canceled by 8 a.m. of that service day. Finally, from the AP of Student Life, which is Mrs. McLeod, the 2021-2022 yearbooks are in the front office, and they will be handed out to all of our returning students during their class meetings on August 25th. So all returning students in grades 10, 11, and 12 will get their 2021-2022 yearbooks during their class meetings on August 25th. And now a short message from the business manager's office. All families and students that you will be reminded starting this Thursday that you need to have an academic locker and a PE locker from the, that you buy from the front office. Locks are available for $7 each. If your student is taking strength and conditioning or ninth grade PE and health, he or she needs a PE locker. If they are going to be playing a sport, they need a PE locker and they definitely will need a lock for their academic locker. So please bring cash or check and be ready to purchase a school lock. Why does it have to be purchased from here? So that we have the key in case something is broken or your student cannot get into their locker, as well as if we need to investigate or look for anything as a result of the safety dogs that we bring on campus at least once a month. Also, thank you to all those who expressed interest in the van service. All vans are now full. If you have a seat on the van, congratulations. The information was emailed to you from Miss Lilia Madrigal on Monday, August 15th. Please look for that email if you did not get that, or if you're still wondering if your student made it in for the van transportation, email or call Miss Madrigal today. Van service will officially begin this Friday with service going to and from school. Sharks also want to remind you that picture day for all students, faculty, and staff will be Thursday, August 25th. We will send a reminder because that will be a burgundy dress day. All students who have varsity letterman jackets may wear those instead of wearing a burgundy sweater. If you do not have a varsity letterman jacket, then you must wear a burgundy school-issued sweater. Um, that'll have the school logo on it, and it's something you can purchase at Marymount. Also, so that you have access to your students' photos, we will make sure that we include with this video the access code you need so when the pictures are done, you can review your students' photos and order as many or as little as you want. Again, that'll be in this video, but I wanted to make sure that I announced that out loud, that 
August 25th will be school-wide photo day. Sharks, that's all the messages we have for today. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you starting with this Thursday with our new student orientation and welcoming everybody back this Friday for the kickoff to our school year. God bless Sharks and let's have a great year.